Hello everyone, welcome back to another review. Today we are reviewing a product we found on Timu, or Temu. <laughs> I'm probably never going to say that right. This is a miniature game system, and this game system cost us $11. That's right, a game system for $11? If you're thinking what I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not quite sure... If this is going to impress me or disappoint me, but you know we are honest on this account, so let's go ahead. They give you a little manual. There's really not much to the manual, just standard things. You can set this up with your TV. That's why they have this little remote. Little battery here, rechargeable battery. Now this is for your, I believe... For hooking up with your TV what you can do is you can get an audio and video that's what these cables are so you would get an audio and video uh, HDMI converter basically what you could do is you could take these two plugs plug it into the converter then you the converter will have an HDMI port that plugs into your modern TVs and you can do it that way here's a ch charging cable go ahead open up the back here as you can see it resembles the Game Boy pretty much. Pop the battery in. All right, looks like it was already turned on. Let's uh, turn it off. Charge it up here. You can also put in speakers or headphones with the AUX port. But that would also probably be, yeah, it looks like that's also how you would connect this. Probably to the TV if you wanted to. Okay, uh, start, select, got all your standard A, B, Y, X, R, controllers, on and off, Chinese or English you can select, let's go with English, so it's 400 games in one, obviously the first one is Super Mario, oh my goodness, Bird Week, we're going to go with Super Mario, Press start to select one or two players. Just move, press select, start. Okay. There is, n oh yeah, here, here's a volume adjustment. So you can have it muted or you can have it up to here. Graphics are not too bad for being a small screen. Graphics might be a little um, washed out, but you know, obviously, you're scaling it down to such a small little screen here. It's still fun. You can still read everything, still see everything. Um, I'm trying to show you guys and also play at the same time. You can play, pause it. I believe to reset, you press the R, and that takes you out instantly. We got Mario 14. Let's do Mario 3. One player. Mario World. Okay, well, I mean, honestly... I think this is kind of cool. I have no complaints. Well, I mean, the volume is loud enough. The graphics are pretty good. Um, quality is pretty good. I mean, it's... Uh, you can easily play. As you can see, you know, hey, we're not done right away. Now, how do you get... Oh, okay, I know how you get that. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it, it is fun. <laughs> Press R and off. Yeah, uh, for $11, what do you guys think? Nice. I like it. I'm happy. And there's probably a little... It almost seems like there's a film on here. That you can take it off now. I don't recommend doing this. I'm only doing this as a demonstration here. 
Oh yeah, there's a little film. You gotta be very careful. And that will actually make the quality even better. So you gotta be very careful. It's kind of like a screen protector in a way. Oh yeah. Much nicer. Let's see if we scratch that a little bit. I don't I don't know, there's just some glue we gotta get off. We'll get some glue stuff. But yeah, very nice. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm I'm happy with that. 